Hello again, it's Priscilla Vatzel in Springville, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have just spent an hour mixing up some Arteza paints, actually more than all those little tubes. I used my little tube pusher, whatever you call it. It's like a toothpaste tube device. You put it on the end and you roll it up. Anyway, these are paints that Arte Arteza sent me, if I can get it in the right direction. These are my leftover colors from the last painting, which I'm imagining I can add some more to. We'll see in a moment. Those are the colors. And these are what they look like once you mix them with pouring medium. And I have thrown just enough GAC 800 by Golden in the bottom of each one of these containers to empty the tube onto it. And then once I mix that up, then I added my half and half Floetrol and Decor pouring medium, which worked out pretty well, but I had to continue to add more and more because the paint was thick enough to be able to make it go that far. So I'm going to use a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I think I'm going to use my dustpan. Although, you know what? I want that over here right now. My other dustpans from the dollar store, the handles broke off. They got brittle from being outside in the Florida sun. So I'm going to take a chance that this is going to work and not dump all my paint. And I am going to use what I didn't use the last time some of this gray black color and hope that that works out and I have some white pearl that when it comes out it's wonderful and I am just going to try and keep an eye on what I might like to see here and then at the end I will go back in with some white maybe, as in one of my recent favorite artists that I'm watching is using some white from a squeeze bottle and throwing it into her colors. I'd like to keep my palette simple, but I'm not very good at it, so I'm not going to worry too much about whether I do or I don't. I am going to try and reposition those lids. I'm going to go back again. See, I've got quite a bit of paint. I wish I had them in squeeze bottles, but that's the way it goes. You can't have everything you want. I want some gold. Whether it's going to look good in there or not, I don't know. It's kind of different colors for me. Once I get up to that handle, it's time to quit. Ah, I didn't use the purple. Perfect. I've used quite a bit of that. Is there anything else that I feel I want? I think I want to go ahead and be brazen and use all of that paint that came out of my last one. Even though it's been sitting out here 45 minutes, I'm going to take a chance and use it as an accent color, which is actually pretty cool. I'm going to wipe off my spatula. That's a Princeton Artel Catalyst spatula. That's available on the Amazon link in blue right underneath show more under the video. I want some more of this color. It's just too pretty to, to resist. I want some more of that black color too. It's not really black. It's, oh, space, space something gray. And I haven't filled up all my spaces to the handle yet, but it's getting darn close. I want to put my paints out of the way, but the problem is I have no level surfaces, and until I get the caps back on them, it could be a problem. I want some other gold, and I don't have it mixed up from Arteza yet, so I'm going to give myself permission to just go ahead and risk that. And then I'm going to try and make some room so I can tip some things. I didn't put any red in there, and I have some Arteza red. I know it doesn't sound good, but sometimes the things that don't sound good are the most interesting. And that's pretty interesting. Hey, as long as I'm here... Whoops. I'm going, I'm going over. That's also an Arteza color. And I don't want that to spill out of there. And I can see it going. Okay. So I'm going to try and not spill that dustpan full of paint. Oh, please don't spill. <laughs> and I am going to... What am I going to do? I want to put some gold on there. There's my white. I'm going to use the black. I'm getting away with it. Let's just chip that, see where it goes to start with. 
find a OXO omelet turning spatula in the bucket and try and make sure it's a little bit dry. I'm using the black paint mostly to spread the other paint on. Try not to get too close to that dustpan of paint because I'm afraid I'm going to spill it. So I'm not really having a chance to fully utilize my turntable, which is just a ring that came off a Lazy Susan that was a patio table at some point in time from Martha Stewart like a decade ago. And now there are turntables on my Amazon link as well as tents and all kinds of cool stuff there. So if you guys are interested in cool stuff, you can go check out my Amazon link and see what's around. Someday, when I get some tech help, I will hook it up so that it's available in more countries than just the United States. I don't know what will be available yet. I have no idea. And uh, So I just got a call on the phone from two ladies who are going to take lessons. One's giving herself a birthday present. I'm excited about that. That's going to happen in a couple of days. Very excited. She's from right around the corner from here, which is nice. I have just about enough black paint and then some to think that um, I'm going to have more black paint than I know what to do with. So <laughs> you'd think I'd know by now, wouldn't you? All right, I'm going to get rid of that. And I am going to let all of that drain out. and scrape it out with my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula so I waste as little as possible. Throw it in the bucket. See what I might like to do with it, if anything. I am seeing right off the bat that I am missing orange and I want some. Not sure what's going to happen with any of this, to be honest with you. I am going to grab another edge catcher. Let's just tip it and see where it goes for right now. I like the black, I just don't think I can keep much of it. I've wanted to for a little while now, just want to um, just throw some paint around, which is what this is, <laughs> and see what I do with it after that. Where I can make it go, and if I want some other things to happen in there. Like just let some paint fall right over the edge and push it over, push it on and fill it in with my with my fingers. One edge down, three to go. All right, so now what? <laughs> I want to go ahead and have permission to just be belligerent and have some really unexpected things happen to my painting, which may include bringing the edge catcher back, letting everything fall toward it. Whoops. <laughs> and off it. I'm going to wipe off my fingers before I get too much stuff I don't want on there. I'm going to drag that edge catcher away. And I'm going to look at what I've got. And rinse my fingers off from here. Because they are just, my hands are just too covered. So, it's time to look. Stop and look and see. And it's kind of cool. I've got uh, basting brushes, but they're not here right now. They're in the bucket. But I do have this fork. And somebody else was mentioning how much they liked the look of what the fork did in my last piece. So let's just let's just have a good time with the fork for a minute. 
and see what we can do with it. Because we can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. <laughs> yes, I kind of like that. I might want to put some white in there somewhere. I've never given myself absolute permission just to fork it. But I'm, I'm having kind of way too much fun to stop now, so... That's pretty cool. I suppose I really, really could go ahead and torch. But I want to add some white in there because I've seen another wonderful YouTube artist adding white and having a really good time with it. And it made me think that it wasn't a bad idea to do so. I want my straw. But in lieu of a straw, I might just give myself normal permission to use my bamboo skewer in ways that I love. Very flower-like, to a degree at least. I don't want any canvas showing at the edge of that, so I'm going to have to cover that. Paint, paint will heal paint, and paint will lead paint. I do have this other basting. There's my basting brush. Cool. I was worried that it was missing, or in the bucket, and it really wasn't in the bucket. I got some really neat stuff going on in here some of which I just eradicated with my basting brush. But I want to put some new kind of shapes in. That's pretty neat. Makes me want a little bit more of that white. Because it makes quite the statement, quite the bold statement. I like it a lot. And we still haven't torched. I think I need a bunch of that right here. Yes, that's neat. Um, what else do I want in there? I think the white is working pretty well. I don't know if they're that flowery anymore, but I've got some wonderful stuff going on. And I'm going to waggle my way to the edge and just dip my skewer in. Maybe add a few spirals. What else do I want in there? Not much. I kind of want some of my green. I love those. Ooh, I like those too. Oh, what was I going to say? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I love those peddly things going on. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. You're right. Yeah, that's just dramatic. I want my straw. Or medical tubing would work, too. I know where there is one inside. I just don't know where there is one right now. Um, do I want some more black? Or do I want some purple? Or some Prussian blue? Whoops, I guess I got some purple whether I was interested in really having it or not. You maybe can't see that. I'm a little worried I'm going to eradicate something that was amazing. 
but um, I'm having too much fun to stop. <laughs> so pardon me for being risk taking risks. I want some of that purple over there. And I like it so much, I want some of it over here too. Yes. That is dramatic and I'm liking it a lot. Very cool. I think it's time to torch and let me go throw myself into the pool. As long as I think I'm really done. Wipe that off. Wipe that on. <laughs> I think a little bit more either blue. Yeah, I think the blue. Just anywhere I please. In an abstract expressionist, yeah, that disappeared. All right, so I've got two minutes left to tell you guys that I give classes at the house, but I already told you that, so no worries. I have Pinterest and Instagram underneath show more at the bottom of the paint pouring description underneath the video. I love you guys. There's over 71,000 of you. Uh, thank you for all the wonderful compliments and the comments that you give me all the time, and you keep my morale up really well. Thank you. I really need that sometimes, too. Um, I said I sold my artwork, but I don't sell it often enough, so if you will give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it, and uh, if you watch more of the videos, it helps my placement on YouTube. It gives the algorithm some fodder to, uh, to know that you want to see me get better placement, and I need that because this is my living, and I'm not really making one. It would be nice if I could someday, and the more thumbs up I get, and the more people watching longer videos, the more likely I am to get better placement and want to keep coming back and doing this for you guys endlessly. I'm going to torch this now to release the bubbles in the paint. There's a lot of great stuff going on here and I really, really, really like it. Except for that one spot right there where I just tried to bubble up the paint and I need some black. Where's some black? Steal some black. And there we go. Yes, there are some beautiful things happening here and there will be more things coming in the future. I'm loving the Arteza pearls. There will be, there should be a coupon at the top of the description should you be interested. And there are Arteza paints on my Amazon link underneath show more underneath the video. Don't forget my thumbs up. Don't forget I love you. We torched to release not just the bubbles in the paint but hopefully release some of the pattern causing agents that make the cells pop out and we have a lot of beautiful cells and this is a really gorgeous painting and I'm very happy and I'll be using a lot more white in my artworks from now on I believe because it just uh, makes them pop. Thank you all for being here. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard saying come again watch lots of videos. There's a contest every month for contributors. It's on the end screens. You can find the this month's prizes with a 10 by 10 inch videos uh, exhibition and my website and you can communicate with me through my website. You guys take care now. I'll see you soon. Is that zoomed out enough? There it is. Okay. I love you very much. Bye now. I'm just going to let the time run out. Then I'm going to touch my edges up like right there. That's exquisite. I'm very happy. All right, you guys. I'm going to stop this, not make you hang out anymore. But uh, definitely check out some of those 700 videos if you wouldn't mind. And um, what else is there? There's a subscribe button. Oh, yeah, make sure the notification setting on your YouTube channel or YouTube notification settings is on. So if you, get, if you ring the bell to get notifications, you'll actually get them. Take care, guys. Priscilla out.